Welcome to Resident Evil 4 VR. That's right. And man, I cannot believe that I am about to play this game in VR. I have loved these games ever since I got the very first one back on my PS1 and, and turned off all the lights and had my surround sound going on my big 32-inch TV at the time. And... Ooh, man, scared the piss out of me. So I can't wait to dive into this and take you guys with me so you can watch it scare the piss out of me, I guess. I don't know. It's not right. I mean, it's not really that scary. But anyway, nonetheless, it's here. It's on the quest. It's in VR. And I can't wait. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to start a new game here now. Um, looks like Resident Evil 4 provides a wide variety of options that allow you to customize this experience to match your personal VR comfort level. To quickly get you set up and playing, let's just answer a few quick questions. So, let's see here. We are going to be standing. Now you can play seated. Uh, very cool there. You know, sometimes I don't want to stand up the entire time I'm playing, so that's good. Uh, obviously, you're always going to have your dominant hand selection with most VR games now. And this is what I was waiting to see, guys. So, you know, for those of us who want the full ride, man, we're going to get it right here. Full motion movement recommended for experienced VR users that is me so um, it does look like it still has some snap turning in there so we're definitely wanting to turn that off at some point uh, here in the options just in a second um, and yeah there we go 1998 that was a good year I'll never forget it oh me neither it was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Yarclay Mountains. Well, not for that reason. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the life. fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. Damn Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City. Oh, been there, the done that. The town, with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances? The President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize um, Raccoon nuke it. City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. You guys were canceled. That's what happens to bad companies. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. It seems like yesterday. Ah. Yeah. I received special training from the secret me hungry. organization working under the salsa. direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo. Who are you, really? Come on and tell us. If I told you I'd have to kill you, you man. You're a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm a one-man sure army, dude. Boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you're crazy, Amara. That's right, bro. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It's coming right at me. So, you know, I gotta say, the old-style cinematics are looking pretty good. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. This guy's right before his duties of That's taking a piss. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. 
According to our intelligence, no, bro. there's reliable no. information about a sighting of a girl that, that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Uh, hey, hey, man, you might want to reel it back in. <sighs> it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. That would be a horrible way to go. <laughs> Ah, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. We'll keep driving. I'll go and have a look around. What? We'll stay and watch that car. Oh, sure you will. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I don't like the way you said that, pink shirt. Jeez. Who are these guys? Red shirts. Did you say something? They won't last long. Whoa. Hey. Oh, oh here we go. Um. Oh. Got a, got a cell phone here. Very cool. I got some hands, so... Nice. Leon, Digging I hope you that. can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. It'd be cool if you could like flip it closed. So okay. So purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and and skip the weapons tutorial here because I've already done it and you know I know how to shoot. So uh, I think we're safe to move on. Aha! You <laughs> thought you could get away? Not with my gun. Let's see. Get your loot. Ooh, shiny. All right. So, all right. Now we are finally in the game. I can finally talk to you guys. So, oh, man, I have been playing this game all week and I'm loving it. Now, obviously, for the purposes of the video, I went ahead and started it over because obviously further down the road in the game, there's going to be so much action. I wouldn't have time to talk. But, you know, Capcom and Oculus really have done an outstanding job of porting this game into the Quest 2. I, I, it still blows me away that this is running standalone in this headset. Now, yeah, sure, you know, I mean, obviously it's not going to be the blistering, you know, textures that we're going to see in a PC VR release, uh, you know, and it is an older game. I mean, even with the enhanced textures, it is still an older game, so... It, it just, it looks amazing, though. It, it really does. I mean, it, I've, I've been preaching this since the beginning of time. It doesn't take much in VR to, to trick your brain into thinking, wow, okay, I'm in this environment. This environment, I'm digging it. So, very cool. Just wanted to give that shout-out before we started. Props to Capcom, props to Oculus for bringing at least some Resident Evil to, to, to VR outside of PlayStation VR. Still really wish we could get that one, man. Oh, I always wanted to see RE7 in something a little better than a PSVR, but just saying. So anyway, um, got my movement set. Um, you can set the movement to however you like it in the menu. Um, it is defaulted to snap and teleport, but you know, hardcore, you can go smooth turn and full FPS uh, with strafing. So very cool there once again that they give us the option. Always love that. So um, that right there though is my biggest pet peeve of the game is the instant transition to cuts scenes uh, it's a little me. jarring sir um uh, but but you get used to it um uh, hey bro sir excuse me sir uh you don't look right i was wondering sir. if you might recognize a girl in this photograph 
¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? What, what, Lárgate, what, cabrón. What did you say about Joaquín? Sorry to have bothered you. Uh, I like that brother. He, he's he's a good guy. Uh, you shouldn't be saying stuff about him and, and swinging axes at me. I'm gonna have to shoot you now, sir. Freeze. All right, here we go. Freeze. So you know, like I said, transitions from um, cinematics to 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 gameplay can get a little jarring throughout the game. Um, you know, like right there. You but you do get used to it. So I I'm not gonna. I'm not going to really hold it against them. It, 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 it is what it is. This game is a narrative story-driven game, so it's going to have a lot of these little cinematic sequences. Um, you know, but but if that's my only critique of this game, then so be it. Because um, so far that is, is my only okay? critique of this game. There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize it. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head towards the village. Understood. Okay. Oh, they're coming for me. What do you got? I'm gonna get you stuff. Alright. They're outside the door. Oh, they've killed a lot of people. That is not good. Let's go up here. And so, you know, you can see I am like, you know, full FPSing this and. If you want to, you can obviously slow the pace down. You can turn on the teleport. You can turn on the snap turning once again. Uh, I, I just like it. I just pow, shoot you right in the face. In the back, in the face, in the back. You got it. And oh, now you're now you're too close to the door, so I can't get you. And, you know, there's another cinematic transition that, that a lot of people I've seen kind of complaining about. Um, you know, it is what it is. I, I definitely think that we could have had something a little better for those types of transitions in the game than the jar jarringness of jumping out to a cinema screen and then jumping quickly back into your body. But... Like I said, if, if that's really my only critique of the game, you know, man, so be it. it. I am loving this. I am digging it. It's got good gunplay. It, it's got some stealth stuff coming up. So I, I just I can't say enough good things about it. So let's go ahead and save here. I don't know why you ring the bell, but I'm gonna ring the bell. There we go. And I do like the fact that you have multiple save slots here. I mean, you can definitely um, save a lot in this game. Let's get it back to three. There we go. Okay. V R G D three. Enter. And I love the fact that you actually use the typewriter. So very cool there. All right. Um, more crows. Where's your buddy? Usually guys come in threes. Oh, what do you got? Ooh, a grenade. Um, definitely got some uh, some collider and some physics going on here. So nice, nice there. You can definitely the, the it's it's you know. But what I find funny is is that it's solid here on the skulls. But look, gun passes right through the rest of it so uh don't don't get that you know colliders guys colliders make things solid in these vr worlds I, 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 that's buddy i'm gonna save you here hold on there you go there you go can i pet you thank you all right have a good day now um but as i was saying make make things solid in these vr worlds i should never be able to pass especially if i'm using hands or weapons i shouldn't be able to pass them through anything that should be solid yet it's not so ooh, red herb sweet i've always heard it's better if it's red huh Oh no. Ah, there's my knife. You want my knife? Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's have a little knife play. 
Oh. Oh. Slashed you. Let's see, there we go. Alright, so, um, this is a game where you really have to conserve ammo. So, you know, the knife is your buddy, and man, it looks cool. Love the reflectivity on that. Oh, green herb. All right, sweet. Man, I'm like loading up for the weekend here. We should get throw the knife. Now, see, like I did that kick animation, and it didn't, and it didn't uh, turn into a cinematic screen. So I, I, I don't know. Jumping out windows, kicking. It, it should be all of the same, guys. So, just saying. Good for Stinky Pete. Y'all know Stinky Pete? Sweet. Try to conserve some ammo here. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. You're going down, sir. Ah, there we go. The gate to Pueblo. Alright. So, before we go there, a uh, little quick look at the menu system here. So, this is your map. Uh, you're going to be able to scroll it. Um, and uh, you got your treasures here you got your inventory and this is where you can do stuff like combine things so we can like quickly mix the red and green herbs and we'll go ahead and drop them in there as a consumable and now I can grab that over my shoulder and heal myself. Uh, we don't have a two-handed weapon just yet. Uh, so, you know, I gotta, I gotta say, I like this interface. Uh, you definitely have a wide variety of slots to fill here, so uh, no need to worry about it filling up quickly. The game options, this is obviously where you can control that movement uh, that I was talking about. So, just a quick mm -hmm. overview there, and on to Pueblo. I love the little cell phone thing. These always get me in a VR. This is like a presence enhancer. Little interactive displays that I hold Leon, in my hand. how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Alright, so let's go see what's going on in Pueblo here. Now, this is where the game is going to get a little more stealthy if you want to play it that way. Um, you can definitely go run and gun, but I, I gotta tell you, you, you really have to manage your ammo in this game. So, um, it's, you know, going Leroy Jenkins on all these guys out here is definitely not something I would recommend. Um, but it, it is doable. Because once one of them sees you, they are on you, and you, it is just run, 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 run. So, let's see if we can. Oh, no. Did she see me? See, there we go. Just snuck past him. Sweet action. No! Oh, I'm hosed. Oh! And, and the sound is actually really good, too, because I... That was cool. It sounded like this guy is literally walking on the tin above me. Oh, I'm doing that. Wow! Oh, no. Oh. Oh, took your head clean off, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, run away. 
Brave, brave Sir Robin, Sir Robin ran away. Nope. Alright. Enough of that. What we got in here? Yeah, screen herb. We need that. I love the green herb. We love the green herb so much. Oh, I love it when I take their heads off. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, right in my chest. Oh, see, I'm telling you, 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 you definitely... You, you, you gotta watch it because they will gang up on you quickly and then uh, there's just nothing I can do so there we go you know fitting in I, I guess that's about where I'd want to cap the video anyway I know I don't like to make these too long but you guys get the gist of it man this is great I, I mean other than some finicky little quick transitions between cinematic screens and back to the game and, and a little bit of fumbly you know weapon handling and and i mean the ability to pass your weapon through certain things but not other things it th those are the only three things that i've really found that i was like eh, it's a little annoying but i definitely got used to it really quick and you know what i don't care anymore because i am into the game and i'm loving it and i highly highly recommend that you check this out if you have a quest too so as usual i will leave a link for this in the description and uh go there grab this you, you definitely won't be disappointed with this one unless you were just super super picky about that jumping between the cutscenes and the gameplay so with that i'm gonna leave you guys to it i appreciate you watching especially if you made it this far if it was your first time coming i can't tell you how much i appreciate you for stopping by and checking out what i do here on vr gamer dude if you liked what you saw don't mind uh and if you don't mind do me a solid click subscribe ring the bell hit that like you you know we all ask you to do it but i'd love to get to ten thousand this year and uh, i could use your help in doing that and for those of you who are already on the channel i'm back thank god it was rough losing my mom but i'm back so i love you i've missed you guys and uh, you can expect more regular content from me going forward and soon i'll see you in the next one this is don Signing off.